Well, it will soon be a little tougher to find a sweet treat in western Wisconsin. A beloved River Falls cookie shop is calling it quits. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how right now bakeries everywhere are being burned. It smells delicious. It's one of the very sweetest places in western Wisconsin. Welcome to Mimi's Cookies and Creamery. I offer happiness every time they come in here. Ice cream and treats. But I can just tell, like, this is such... There's so many elements to this. Like, your heart is so deeply in this. So deeply in this. She birthed the place in 2017, leaving a career in finance to finance a dream in downtown River Falls. It's where she created the tavern cookie. And then we roll it in pretzel before we bake it so it's salty, it's sweet. It's an affordable, inclusive shop with a lot of heart. We work with University of Minnesota Children's Masonic Hospital, so we feature patients. They create a new cookie flavor. We sell it in the shop and we name it after them. But her sweet mission? Succumb to a bitter reality. So the numbers just wouldn't work, right? After all this work. After all this work. Mimi's is closing at the end of the year. Essentially, everything has gone up. Um, eggs have more than tripled in cost, and we use quite a few of those every single week. Um, butter's more than doubled in cost. Flour has gone up. And it's not just here. You've been doing this a long time. Have you ever seen it this tough? No, no, I don't think I ever have. One of Minnesota's most famous bakeries in Red Wing is feeling it too. You know, like trying to find starches is next to impossible. Yeah. Trying to find certain sugars is, you know, you can't do it. So you have to, you know, improvise and a lot of times cut out some products. And sometimes you have to say a bittersweet goodbye. What do you think you're going to miss the most about this place? The people. In River Falls, Susan Elizabeth Littlefeld, WCCO, 4 News. Uh, bakeries work on small margins, selling items for 2 or $3 each, so it doesn't make sense to triple the price for consumers. Mimi says she hopes to somehow continue her business through a food truck or possibly catering.